Uh, we're out on top of the uh, top of the Yorkshire walls. Should have put the camera on. A few moments earlier, when we were actually on the top, you can see quite a distance. Coming into the village of, uh, of North Dalton. As you can see, the weather's. Uh, the weather's particularly nice at the moment, blue skies, little wish skies. Uh, it's taking it easy around here because uh, it's like four o'clock and there's kids playing out in the street and what have you. Take a right here. North Dalton's a lovely village, without doubt. You can see the pond there. Man, that's a smashing pub, that one. Star. Take a left. Head off to Middleton on the walls. Quite a lot of wildlife up here today. Lots and lots of rabbits. Lots of males. Haven't seen any female ones. I've seen quite a few males. The weather's been a bit odd today. A bit further west towards York. Torrential rain. But over here in, uh, in East Yorkshire, we've got blue skies. The weather doesn't seem to, uh, seem to know what it's up to at the moment. on the right here walking a doggy. Quite picturesque ground here. St Andrew's Church. Thank you, you just flash me. Robin Hood pub. For those that are not aware, Robin Hood was uh, quite a notorious highwayman in the north of England. He'd, uh, he'd travel around on his on his horse carrying guns. I came across uh, stagecoaches and there various uh, gentry travelling on the road to uh, they'd pull them up, stand and deliver money all your life and it rob them and make things that they had of any what else 
Turn off these two hooks. There's actually quite a bit of uh, fierce rivalry between between Yorkshire and Nottinghamshire as to the actual birthplace and, and residence of uh, Robin Hood. People at Nottingham say that say that he, uh, he was born and raised in Nottinghamshire and that he carried out a lot of his raids around Nottinghamshire, Nottingham Forest and he had quite a bit of Close to a bit more somewhere around the uh, works on the area, which is sort of on the, on the borders between uh, Nottinghamshire and South Yorkshire. It's also said that the village of Brough was supposed to be where, where he, uh, he lived as well. But nobody can really say one way or the other whether that's true or not. But it's interesting to uh, to look into. When I want the uh, B1248, uh, this route between Bain and Hillbridgeville on the Thames Seventy. This particular road is, is a reasonable road, it's got some few, few twists and turns on it. When it's clear like this you can uh, you can off the bike up and just fling it about a bit. Had great fun on here. A few days, a few years earlier. Back off the side of the bike. And I've got a big, big top box on the back uh, that's got a bit of weight in it. But I've got to be careful. Church that you can see over there, that's South Norton Church. That one that we brought in as uh, one of the thousand best churches in the country. It's designed in Victorian town and it's got a, a very, very famous design, designer to its name, but I can't remember. South Dalton's also got one of the, uh, the best pubs uh, in the area, pipe and glass. It's only a, a very, very small place, but the, uh, the restaurant is absolutely fantastic. It gets, gets voted as one of the best pubs in the area, year in, year out. And it's one of those places where, unless you've actually got business in South Dalton, not the sort of place where you would go, but it does bring a, f a fair few visitors to the place be because of the pub. Uh, been there a few times myself sometimes, get the bike out on our evening, ride right up there, have a pint of coke, bite to eat, and then disappear off all. Lovely colours in the uh, the side of the road, all the pinks, various shades of green. They're all classed as weeds.
left hand turn there for Lockington. I've just seen it there. A disaster at the hill there. Going back 20 years or so. Something uh, yeah, to get out of the car across the hill there. There's a car cut out. And the best of all trying to get the car restarted. As you can guess, the train came flow straight through them. I suppose if it hadn't been for that Lockington there, it would be relatively up there. Got Leckenfield to the left as well, that's uh, not, not too far from Lockington. It used to be, or still is, an RAF base. It used to fly uh, English Electric Lightnings from the interceptor aircraft. Fastest aircraft the Royal Air Force ever had it used to do about two and a half times the speed of sound. And over there is the first line of towing for uh, Russian bombers coming over. The, the aircraft uh, area of Leckenfield have, have got now all there is are a couple of, couple of seeking helicopters belonging to two two squadron. They do air sea rescue. But even those their 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 days are their days are coming to an end next year. Bond helicopters are taking over the uh, air sea rescue in the North Sea. Uh, to a squadron. It's quite likely to be disbanded or something. Could have stood around about here, Doc Kennel here. Follow this road down to the next room the bottom, and it takes you onto the onto the A1070 down Beverly Bypass. Or you can take the first exit. It takes you onto Beverly Racecourse. Yes. 